Pastor Ed here with Daily Devotions for Tuesday, September the 3rd, 2024. Our passage for today is taken from the New Testament letter of Colossians, the third chapter, the fourth verses, the first four verses. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Seek the things that are above. The writer of Colossians urges us, whether it was Paul or somebody else, traditionally it's believed to have been Paul. Um, seek the things that are above. Set your minds on things that are above. It's easy to be distracted, though. Uh, the story is told that a uh, farmer one time um, told his wife that he was going to go out to pick some ripened fruit from the field, and he got off to an early start so he could warm up the truck to drive out there, and he realized he needed more gas, so he went to the store to get it. On the way to the store, he noticed that the pigs weren't fed, so he proceeded to the corn crib where he found some sacks of feed, but besides the sacks were some potatoes that were sprouting, and then when he started for the potato pit, he passed the wood pile, remembered that his wife had wanted wood in the house, and as he picked up a few sticks, a nailing chicken passed by. He dropped the wood and picked up the chicken. And when noon arrived, the frustrated farmer had not even gotten to the truck, let alone the fields. And by now, it was very hot. Some of the ripened fruit had even dropped. And the question is, have you ever intended to do something that you knew was very important, but found yourself in a similar situation, distracted? Um, that thing that kept you from the things that were most important. There's also a story written by or offered by Dr. Larry Petten called, uh, Are You a Chicken or an Eagle? Um, John McNeil, he says, tells the story of a young eagle he had raised with a flock of chickens. The out-of-place bird had never learned to fly. And one day McNeil thought that he would teach the birdhouse, so he tried throwing it up in the air, but each time the bird would look down, he would, would look down and fall to the ground. Then he had another idea. Lifting the eagle's head, he made it catch a glimpse of the bright sun above. And that did it. The eagle pushed out its wings, then lifting its head with a shriek, it jumped from his hand, began to soar higher and higher till it was lost to sight in the face of the sun. Many Christians find themselves in a similar state, says Pastor Patton. If they would just get their eyes off the things of this earth and off other people and on to the Son of God instead... They would soar on the ring, wings of the Spirit to higher levels of spiritual maturity and blessing. And finally, there are some thoughts offered by uh, James Burquist. Uh, when I saw his name, it brought back some memories. He was a uh, professor of New Testament at Trinity Seminary uh, back in the late 70s when I started there in Columbus, Ohio. He was also my first year one of my advisors. Uh, he was also the academic dean um, and I also had him for a class in the Gospel of Luke, so I had a lot of encounters with Dr. Berquist, and I remembered something of his story that he had been raised um, in India by missionary parents. And so this reflection on Colossians 3, 1 through 4, kind of reflects that, uh, that upbringing. He writes, We were walking along the dusty streets of an Indian village, and we looked down most of the time as we walked to avoid the refuse, the the open sewers, the stagnant potholes. The sights were not pleasant. But then on impulse, we climbed the tower of an ancient Hindu temple. And from on top, the view was transformed. We could see lush, green rice fields, women in colorful dresses walking along the paths, waving coconut palms, shimmering in the sunlight, and in the distance, the cool blue ocean. By climbing up and looking out, we discovered beauty that was there all along, but hidden by our cautious, hesitant walk with downward glaze, gaze. Paul, he says here in Colossians, invites us to stand up and look out. We are to claim ownership of the new life that we share with the one who has been lifted up from the dead by God. Our temptation is to look down. We want to tread carefully among the problems that clutter our days, but new horizons emerge when we stand tall in Christ, who is our life. Again, Dr. Jim Berquist wrote that. Let us pray. We are beaten down and sometimes we despair. 
Help us, risen one, to look up and walk with you. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great day. I hope this is, uh, I hope your week got off to a good start yesterday and uh, looking forward to joining you again uh, for daily devotions tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.